So welcome to the Natural Easy Weight Loss Program uh, talk tonight. I, I also named it Goodbye Belly Fat. Um, and so what I'm going to do this evening is talk about the integrative medicine approach for addressing, or one integrative medicine approach for addressing um, weight loss. So let's talk first about some of the daily struggles that people might have when they have um, excessive weight. One is they might be starving for sweets or tasty food that doesn't shoot up their blood sugar and make them gain weight. Um, or they've tried all sorts of different programs and, and nothing's worked. Or it works for a little while and then you go back and regain the weight, if not more. Um, another is the daily struggle of being good and then cheating. Um, and I see some smiles there. A lot, a lot of people can relate to that one. Um, you say mean things to yourself when you look in the mirror. Um, I, I know my, uh, my relatives, I've, I've heard them say things that were not so nice to themselves. Um, so what if you could enjoy rich, delicious food and lose weight? and you didn't have worries about people judging you because of your weight, and you feel comfortable in your clothes and in your body, and you have a high level of energy and ease of movement every day. So this is really about helping you rethink the idea of the eat less, exercise more paradigm, which has been you know, sort of the popular understanding for the last however many decades we want to talk about. And research shows that actually this is not the best way. Um, that dieting, where you're restricting your portions and calories, is not the best way to lose weight for the long term. Um, and so what, what I'm doing in this program is I'm actually showing you how to switch your body from burning blood sugar or glucose into burning fat. So it not, doesn't just burn the fat you eat, um, like uh, the guacamole that Whole Foods so generously brought, um, but it burns this fat too, your visceral fat. So it's really a, it's really a, a, a diet of traditional peoples from thousands of years ago, which is what I'm going to be talking about is not exactly a paleo diet, diet but they're sort of cousins. It's a specific type of eating program. Okay. Um, so what is the secret sauce? It's really the integrative medicine approach and, and how we weave together Western science, uh, traditional Chinese medicine, yoga therapy, relaxation practices, uh, and all these things together to really get the best results and to really teach you how to fish and not just give you a fish like uh, Jenny Craig where you're stuck buying the meals forever and ever. This is now you're empowered, now you know how to control this, now you know how to take control of your life and your health in a big way. Um, so integrative medicine, for those of you who don't know, it's really the combination of evidence-based complementary and alternative medicine with conventional Western medicine brought together to get the best of both worlds. So it's really a best of both worlds approach. And my background is as a doctor of acupuncture and traditional Chinese medicine. And I've been in clinical practice since 2000. Uh, my wife and I have a practice right here in Hopkinton called Root and Branch Oriental Medicine, right behind the Price Chopper. And uh, we've been in Hopkinton for at least 10, 11 years-ish. And we were in Brookline before that. So, um, but I'm also, in the last five to six years, what I did was I've been in the clinic for 10 years. And I said, you know what? People need access to this medicine. People need, you know, people would come into me and see me in the clinic and say, oh my God, how come insurance doesn't cover this? It's the only thing that helps me. And I said, well, you know, there's nothing I can do about that. I, I don't have control over that. You know, I, I think they should too. Um, and finally, one day during the whole Romney care, Obamacare debate here in Massachusetts, when, uh, you, know, I, I, you know, obviously there's some good things and some maybe not so great things about that good that everyone's got coverage now, but not so good because it didn't really, 
it wasn't a cost containment bill. Basically, Romney Care was, or Obamacare was covering more people with the same expensive medicine as was Romney Care. So when the Attorney General Martha Coakley did a retroactive study of Romney Care five years after it started, and they found they wanted to know, you know, did Romney Care actually save Massachusetts money? The answer was an emphatic no. In fact, we're now the most expensive state in the country to have health insurance because we haven't fundamentally changed the way care is delivered. We just covered more people with the same expensive paradigm. So this is really, and what I, what I preach, and what, this is my soapbox, is, is an integrative approach. It's really getting the best outcomes for patients. That's what drives the cost down. That's what creates a sustainable healthcare system. So what I did was I actually created a company called I Am Health which what we did, it's, it's, a, it's a long long story, which I won't get into, but basically what we did is we started with diabetes, and we started focusing on diabetes, and we did a pilot program with WPI and Harvard Pilgrim, where we um, worked with some of their diabetic patients uh, in their employee population. And there's a very strong relationship between diabetes and weight gain and blood sugar, which is what diabetes is, excessive blood sugar, and the body's um, fat growing process, okay? Um, so I'll tell you a little bit more about that. Um, and so my vision is really to completely transform the way healthcare is delivered in this country from a disease care system when you go to the doctor when you're sick to a integrative, proactive, best of both worlds system where patients are getting the best outcomes and the costs keep going down or plateau at, at half of what we're paying today. Um, and, my, and my mission in, is really to demonstrate that in the real world with real people, real dollars, real blood work biometrics and real results. So we can do something about this because this type of approach is very effective. Um, and um, my own personal story is this, this is my grandfather, um, and he is a type 2 diabetic. Uh, he was quite, he, he and I, this is my, uh, this is actually my junior prom picture, which is frightening. Um, but uh, <laughs> that was my grandfather when he was about 20 and I was about 17 there. Um, so you can see we were very, very similar build. Um, and. You know, I ended up having, a, you know, our genetic predisposition was very similar, but he was, you know, eating the pasta and cannoli diet, and I was not. So we, 25 years later, we were very in a very different place. Um, so, so if you're interested in losing weight, you're in the right place, because this, this talk will give you the... Um, ability to take the next steps and resolve the issue, which is you getting to that dream weight that you've always wanted to be at, or the weight that you were at when you were in college, or when you were in your 20s, or even 30. So I'll show you how you can get these results. These are some of the, uh, just a few testimonials of people that have been through our program. The first one is a woman who used to, 72 years old, who used to work at a health food co-op. So she, um, she said, I thought I already knew all this stuff. And she went on our program, she was diagnosed, uh, her physician said, you know, you're, you're diabetic. And she said, I'm not taking medication. I don't want to take medication. So um, I said, you know, this, is, this approach is really going to be helpful for you. And she had immediate weight loss, no brain fog, and I just recently heard from my, my coach that was working with her that she brought her hemoglobin A1C, which is a blood sugar average, from diabetic down to pre-diabetic at 72 years old, and she did it in about 10 weeks. So without any medication, it's lifestyle medicine. Um, so uh, another person, this was a, a gentleman at uh, WPI. He was a diabetic for 20 years. He lost 32 pounds in 12 weeks several inches off his waist, I think he lost about four inches, lowered his blood sugar, came off of insulin, so he didn't have to do the shots every day. And one of the things that he actually talked about that was the most, um, surpri not surprising, but it was, it was eye-opening to me, was he said the thing that, I, that was the, the best for me out of the program was the, the freedom that I got. 
where I'm not tied to my medication and, and I don't, I'm not embarrassed when I go out with my friends and have to shoot my insulin and go in the bathroom and like feel like I'm a heroin addict and now what do I do with my dirty needles and things like that. So um, he also went from a, a diabetic to pre-diabetic level in 12 weeks and he came off insulin. Um, another person lost 30 pounds in three months. Another person um, tried every weight loss program, Jenny Craig, Weight Watchers, several diabetes programs. This was by far the most effective program. Um, so I want to create the, the understanding that, that, that blood sugar is really at the root cause of weight gain in that when your blood sugar, when you eat foods that make your blood sugar go up, what happens is your body has to produce insulin in order to bring that blood sugar back down into a safe range. Um, so what happens is insulin is one of the most inflammatory hormones in the body and basically it's a it's a fat storage hormone. So when, your blood, when you're eating sweet foods, and that includes grains and breads, um, and even sweet fruits like bananas, uh, tropical fruit like mangoes, things like that, um, makes your blood sugar spike. And when your blood sugar spikes, then your body has to produce more insulin. And then when your body has to produce more insulin, the insulin makes you store fat, makes you produce fat. That's how you're growing more and more fat is by eating those carbs, okay? So this is really the mechanism. So burn this into your, into your brain, is the blood sugar and the insulin connection and then that into fat storage. So this is really trying to get people to produce less and less insulin. And diabetes is partly a disease of insulin resistance, so your body it gets more and more resistant to it over time as you gain more and more fat, okay? Um, and this is a, a statistic that came out just last year from NBC News that 52% of the U.S. population has high blood sugar. And when I say high blood sugar, I'm talking about diabetes and pre-diabetes. That's 52%, at one out of every two people you know has diabetes or pre-diabetes which is frightening. And the other thing, guess what these numbers are? This is the percentage of people with diabetes who don't know they have it. And this is the percentage of people with pre-diabetes who don't know they have it. So if you, don't, if you haven't been to your physician and he hasn't checked something called your hemoglobin A1C, which is a three-month blood sugar average, so they take a couple drops of blood or when they take in your regular blood work, you can ask for the A1C test because what it does is it gives you a picture of what's been happening in the last 90 days. And this is important. So basically if you're 5'7 or below, you're normal. 5'7 to 6'5 is pre-diabetes. 6'5 and above is considered diabetes. And diabetes is considered to be a progressive disease. So the American Diabetes Association considers it good when, you're di when your hemoglobin A1C is seven, which basically means you might have been a 10 out of control, but now you're at seven, you're still doing damage to your body until you're down here, okay? So the reason this is a weight loss program is because our diabetes program is also a metabolic program. It's also a cardiovascular uh, risk reduction program and a cancer risk reduction program. So. These are some of the results from uh, our hemoglobin A1C results from our pilot, what we did with, with uh, WPI. And so our program was put up against a low-fat vegan diet, the American Diabetes Association diet, the National Institutes of Health Lifestyle Program for treating people with prediabetes, and then other people who, other competitors of ours. Um, and what we found was that we were, we were dropping their hemoglobin A1C by almost twice as much as a low-fat vegan diet, and it took us half, half the time. And we're telling people to eat butter and avocado and uh, coconut and um, rich grass-fed beef and pork and um, lots of green veggies and things like that. So um, this is not a, and it's not a starvation program either. This is not a you know, the 21 day fix where you can only eat what you can put in this little tiny Tupperware container, okay? Um, in addition, when we, when we found out, when we were working with Harvard Pilgrim, we tracked the, the cost, the actual cost for the participants 
the year before they started and the year after they finished the program. So this was the participants, their costs actually went down $3,400 in 12 months. And the diabetics who didn't participate, their costs went up $2,400. So it was a, almost a $5,900 difference per person in the first year. So WPI, because they're self-insured and they pay for their own bills, they actually saved that money minus the cost of the program, which was they, they, they got, you know, we, we charged them, you know, they probably made a four or 500% ROI, return on investment, in one year. I would like to invest in the stock that's going to go up four to 500% in one year, okay? Um, so something may be wrong if you have excess weight because it is a major risk factor for diabetes and prediabetes. And there's also other things with your metabolism or your organ systems that can be contributing to the weight gain, such as your metabolism is slow, your adrenals are weak, your thyroid is off, et cetera, or your gut, you have leaky gut or irritable bowel syndrome, okay? Um, other approaches like Jenny Craig and those other ones, they might help you lose weight in the short term, but they're not healing these, these problems, which is what integrative medicine is doing. Medi integrative medicine is helping you heal the underlying mechanism that's contributing to the weight gain. So this is not just a lose weight, look good in the mirror, even though that's a great thing too. This is a help your body be healthy so that all of your cells are healthy, so that all of your organ systems are healthy, okay? And the, the standard care and what's not being addressed, I mean, I can't tell you how many times patients come in and see me and they say, oh yeah, my doctor said that I'm uh, pre-diabetic. And I said, okay, well, what did they do? And they said, well, they just said, well, we'll, we'll just watch it. And I said, they didn't even refer you to a nutritionist? <laughs> no, we'll just watch it. Has anyone in here had their doctors just say, let's just watch it? Yeah. So um, that's not great uh, care, not great recommendation um, because um, di diabetes is a progressive disease. Thir 15 to 30 percent of people with prediabetes, if nothing else is done, become diabetic in five years. 15 to 30 percent of people with prediabetes become diabetic in five years if they do nothing else. So when your doctor says, let's just watch it, you should think again. You should say, you know what, I want to address this now because I can turn this around and it's a lot easier to turn around when, it's, when I'm pre-diabetic versus when you're actually diabetic. So um, that's part of the reason why um, those other approaches are not effective. So the cost of not resolving that is weight gain and the hassle of poor health. Uh, you're tired all the time. Um, emotional costs, you're embarrassed, uh, low self-esteem. You, you know, people say, I feel ugly, I feel fat, I feel dumpy, I feel I, my clothes don't fit. Um, I can't keep up with my kids or with other people, um, even on a walk, uh, that kind of thing. And then, you, you know, one of the things that Bill said, who was the diabetic who came off insulin, is that one of the things that, that insulin did is that it, it restricted him. It restricted his freedom. He couldn't go kayaking all day with some friends because he had to be tied to his food and his drugs and otherwise his blood sugar could go too low. And he said, once I, you know, got off insulin, I was free. I could go hiking all day. I, could, I didn't have to worry about that. So uh, it was, there was this... Uh, sense of freedom and, and also, you know, how many people here have had low blood sugar and then felt cranky with their family and spouse and other people. So that's another, another, um, another potential side effect. Question on that. When you yeah. mentioned low blood sugar, yes. I feel like I have low, low blood sugar. Mm -hmm. is, that a, is that an indication that there's a problem with insulin when you have it? Um, it could be a lot of things, but I'm happy to talk to you afterwards okay. and, you know, answer some questions for you. Sure. Um, but the good news is, is that you can feel great and you can feel comfortable wearing a bathing suit. It's coming up uh, sooner rather than later here in Massachusetts. Um, and you can reach a weight. I had a patient come in the other day who was about 65 pounds uh, over her goal weight. And um, she didn't believe that she would be able to reach that. 
And she just started, but um, so far we've had success with everyone who's engaged in the program. Everyone. So it's really about, and I'll talk about this in a minute, it's really about giving you the support that you need because everyone's coming from it from a different place. Some people it's, it's a food issue, some people it's a, a stress issue, some people it's an activity issue, some people it's a schedule issue or a combination thereof. So when you get support um, in certain ways, that can be very helpful. Okay. And this, as I mentioned, this program is about getting your life back and switching your body into fat burning mode so that you can put the weight loss struggles in remission for good and keep the weight off for good. And this program uh, that we did several years ago, three, three years ago now at WPI, we were, uh, had great confirmation when the Journal of Nutrition came out with a, a huge meta-analysis, which is when they take all the research they can find on a particular topic and analyze it to get a particular, you know, to find out what the results are on a particular topic. And so what they did was they were looking for what is the, the ideal uh, dietary approach for somebody with diabetes and high blood sugar. Um, and it was exactly what we recommended. Um, and this came out, you know, a year and a half after we finished our program. So, and, th and one of the things they said was, while it's not a weight loss program, there's no more effective approach for losing weight than this. So this is really what you came here for. It's the three, it's the four keys to weight loss um, using an integrative medicine approach. And the first one is integrative coaching. So it's really tapping into you. What are your goals and vision? So this is not uh, a taskmaster saying, did you do your 10,000 steps today on your Fitbit? Um, did you, you know, you know, did you cheat and eat, you know, X, Y, and Z? Um, this is about, you know, why are you doing this? What is it that's driving you? Is it that you want to be with your grandkids? Is it, that, is it that you want to play golf on the weekends? Is it that you want to go skiing and, you know, uh, want to be in better shape? Um, so this process, this is actually based on sociology research. Um, it's autonomy, which basically means you're in the driver's seat, you're in control. You're the one who calls the shots, okay? When you want to make any kind of complicated change or creative process, which is what lifestyle change is, it's not a simple put more bolts on a screw on, a, on an assembly line process. Um, it's you have to be in charge because if someone else tells you what to do, um, says, I want you to do this, um, then typically there's pushback, right? So what the coach does is gets clear about what your goals are and then gives you the tools, education, resources you need to attain mastery over whatever that goal is. So it's really driven by you and the fuel behind it and the support is given by the coach. And then when you have mastery over your goals and when you've attained your goals, you now are empowered, you have healthcare confidence and you know how to fish. You know, I don't have to keep giving you a fish. I can say, oh, you want to fish? Here's the pole. <laughs> you know how to fish now. And that means when, when you, once, you, uh, once you have mastery, that helps you stay on purpose. And when you stay on purpose, that's what creates sustained change over time. So that's what it allows you to embody this process, okay? Now here's the next one that is often a favorite slide, which is the food slide. So this is some examples of some of the foods that we recommend. Certainly not all of them, but. Chocolate almond cake. Wild salmon and mixed greens. Almond chocolate chip cookies. How does, does that look good to anybody here? No? Yeah, okay. I got some hands, okay. All right, yeah, good, all right. Um, Veggie cheddar omelet with avocado. Uh, pesto zucchini noodles. Has anyone ha made those before? Where the, it's called, as, yep, we make zoodles, zucchini noodles. Um, grilled chicken and vegetables. Um, so that's, uh, this uh, approach is not a yucky approach. <laughs> okay? It's actually quite good. 
and you can actually eat a lot of food. It just has to be the foods that nourish your body. So this program is all about deeply nourishing your body and giving your body as much nutrient density as possible. When your body has nutrient density, it's not stressed, okay? If I, if I fed you uh, Pepsi and potato chips and nothing else, your body would be very stressed. I'm using that as an, as an extreme example, but um, what we are is the opposite of that. We're giving you um, nutrient-dense food, okay? And when your body feels uh, like it's getting nutrients, it's less stressed. And when it's less stressed, it tends to hold on to weight less, okay? So this is the, the Journal of Nutrition, one of their quotes. The benefits of this approach, of this uh, low carbohydrate approach, is uh, the benefits do not require weight loss, although there is nothing better for weight reduction. I'll say that again. The benefits do not require weight loss, although there is nothing better for weight reduction. So basically what you're doing is your body is switching from burning carbs, which, which transform into sugar or, or glucose, to burning fat, which burns ketones, okay? Um, and they looked at, as I mentioned, a hundred different articles. So what we're doing, and one of our key principles in the program is, is a non-deprivation principle, okay? It's about swapping out a, a, a better choice. Uh, let me just, okay? So like the almond chocolate cake. It doesn't typically work well if you say to somebody who likes sweets, you can never have cake ever again. <laughs> Because then they go immediately into good foods, bad foods. I was good, I was cheating, <laughs> okay? What you need to do is create a, create a version that satisfies them, tastes really good, um, and scratches the sweet tooth, which eventually actually goes away because your blood sugar is balanced. The reason you get the sweet tooth is what happens is, is your body, when you eat something sugary or sweet or high glycemic, glycemic index is something that the higher, it's a rating on a, on a scale of zero to 100, and the higher that number, the faster it will make your blood sugar spike. So um, when you eat high glycemic foods, like grains, breads, things like that, um, it makes your blood sugar spike. And when your blood sugar spikes, then your body has to release insulin in order to get it to come back down into a healthy range. But the problem is, is that it creates a wave and then the insulin has to get released and then the blood sugar comes crashing down and then not only does it go back into the healthy range, but it ends up going low. And then you feel craving for sweet and then you're back on the roller coaster again. So you're doing low, high, low, high all day. Okay, that's why you get the sweet cravings. And so what we're doing is we're actually putting people on a program that keeps their blood sugar in a happy range where they feel satisfied, they feel satiated, and they're not hungry because their body switches after about two or three weeks from you know, this blood sugar glucose burning into ketone burning. And then your body now can burn your visceral fat as well. So you're actually not hungry. pretty amazing, okay? The next one is therapeutic movement. Um, in our diabetes program, we have a whole section on uh, yoga therapy, which is the therapeutic application of yoga, breathing, movement, and, and uh, modified poses. So this is not the yoga that you may have gone to a yoga class and been in a hot, sweaty room and around people with tight pants who are all fit. This is a, this is a yoga, this is a, <laughs> yeah, this is a yoga class where half of it's done in a chair, where you're basically trying to increase circulation to your limbs, you're doing breathing practices that help to balance your sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system, which is your fight or flight and relaxation response, okay? You're activating that relaxation response. All right, and we encourage fun and easy, okay? Fun and easy. What do you like to do that's fun? 
And is it easy? Start there. <laughs> You're already doing it. If it's dancing around the kitchen with your kids or walking with your dog in the woods, whatever it is, okay? Everybody's going to start in a different place because some people are running triathlons and other people have been, you know, not particularly active. So um, another thing is stress. As I mentioned, um, spikes blood sugar. So that's another thing that will make your blood sugar go up is the stress cortisol response. And it can cause sweet cravings, very similar to when you eat sugar and then it comes crashing back down again, okay? So when you, there's three different types of stress. Most people think of uh, emotional stress, but there's also physical stress. You know, you work in the yard lifting cement blocks all day or stacking wood. Um, and then there's nutritional stress, which most people don't think about. So when you're not eating nutrient-dense food, that stresses your body in a different way, okay? So we're all, we're all about stress reduction. Triggering the parasympathetic nervous system, okay? Um, we, I like to call it the rejuvenation response. Because your body does hold weight when it's stressed. It's like it's starving on a desert island. It's a type of stress holds weight to survive, okay? Um, this is uh, one of our people that have gone through the program. Her name's Rose. She was a nurse. I don't know if you can hear this. So how was the I Am Health program for you? It was great. It was the best experience. It was much better than I expected. My coach was sensitive and supportive and she was so knowledgeable I learned so much and I on my own during that time I started a ketosis diet because I was learning so much about how to heal my metabolism and I lost 15 pounds and all through that time I was able to keep my blood sugar down in the 110s so I felt really successful but even better than that, I feel like I know what to do now, and I trust that my body will respond right away with whatever I do, and that I can heal my metabolism. I know what to eat, and when I do that, when I eat high-quality sources of protein and fat and complex carbohydrates, I don't get cravings for the simple sugars anymore. And I remember the day I discovered that, that I was sitting in front of the TV thinking, geez, I haven't been craving anything for a while. No. So I know what to do now, and I don't have cravings anymore. Those are the two main things that are um, really, really important uh, takeaways from this. Um, and she was a nurse. She was diagnosed with diabetes. and. Uh, um, now she has control of her condition and and you know she was really doing this to control her blood sugar but as she said I also lost 15 pounds I was really trying to control my blood sugar and just nourish my body but I lost 15 pounds um, any questions at the moment yes Well, it depends what the sweet is. Like if you're talking about the cake and the cookie that I put up there and the recipes from our program, you can eat those things. Yes. But drinking regular straight up Pepsi or, um, you know, Nestle Toll House cookies with trans fats, that's never going to be good for you. So, um, but we, that's why we have this principle of healthy swaps so you don't feel deprived. And now, um, I don't know if anyone's ever had uh, Zevia. That's a, a stevia and erythritol sweetened soda. They make cola. They make black cherry. They make orange. They make root beer. Any soda you can possibly think of. Did you have a question? No. Okay. So 
Yes. Kids diabetes. Absolutely. Yes, it does. Uh, how old? Um, I think it's in third grade. Yeah. So when you're dealing with little kids, it's really teaching the parent because the parent's preparing all the food, right? Mm -hmm. So it's really a, a parent program that is passed on to the kid. So, but yes, it's very helpful. And one of the people that in that Journal of Nutrition Research is a type one, he's an endocrinologist, which is the specialist for diabetes. And he's a type one diabetic. And he figured he's in his 80s now. And he basically, this was uh, 50 years ago, before computers, he wrote to the uh, Library of Congress for all the research on nutrition and diabetes. And he basically was one of the pioneers that came up with this approach because they did an, a study on rats where they gave them a very low carbohydrate diet. They, they induced diabetes and then they gave them a very low carbohydrate diet and reversed it. And he said, wow, that's amazing. And he brought it to all these, you know, his doctor at the time, he was an engineer and subsequently met, went to medical school because no one would believe him. <laughs> he had done it to himself, but everyone was like, eh, you're a fluke, you know? Um, so he went to medical school, and then he became a, you know, diabetes specialist. Uh, yes, yes, yeah. So, um, so with the diet, I mean, he could go back to not being diabetic. Basically, one of, one of, one of one. yeah, he's type one. So. There's, type 1 is uh, a different uh, disease process. It's an autoimmune disease versus type 2, which is a metabolic process. Um, so 95% of people who have diabetes in this country, 90 to 95, it's type 2. So most people have type 2 diabetes. Type 1 is the minority, um, and it's a different, it's a different disease process. Um, so. Um, but I know some other folks who are also integrative practitioners. They have two type 1 diabetic kids, 16 and I think 11, 10, 11, somewhere in that range. Both type 1, uh, which is theoretically, according to Western medicine, insulin dependent. And they are not on insulin. And their hemoglobin A1C is like 5.2. So it's in the normal range. So um, it can be significantly improved with a lifestyle approach. And that doesn't necessarily, doesn't mean that, you know, if, if some people are type 1 and they're adults, you know, they might need small doses of insulin because their body's not producing it anymore. Um, but if you're not producing it and then you're stressing your body with these spikes, it's going to be much worse than if you're keeping it in a very controlled range. Um, because, you know, one of the things that uh, this doctor said is diabetics are entitled to the same normal blood sugars as non-diabetics. So that, that part of our program is, is just one piece. It's the dietary piece of our program. Um, but the, the stress piece um, and the activity piece is also important as well. So did you have a question about type 1? No, okay. no, I am type 1. You are? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So you have learned. You have the power to lose weight easily with the help of an integrative coach. And how to experience a whole new life and how easy it can be to lose weight and the science behind that. Um, one, of, one of the other things that I didn't mention is one of my advisory board members, you know, how I, back up for a second, how I created this business was <clears throat> I wanted to transform healthcare. And there's only three organizations that pay for the three trillion dollars of health care in our country. It's the government with Medicare and Medicaid, it's insurance companies, and it's corporations that are what we call self-insured or self-funded. It usually means they have 500 or more employees. And what the, what the difference is, is when, it, when a company is self-insured, Instead of, say, taking a $1,000 and buying a policy for you and then, um, you know, saying, all right, we paid for the policy, now Blue Cross is going to pick up the tab, so we don't need to worry about the health of the person. 
until next year when they raise your rates. Um, when you're self-insured, what happens is they're now taking the risk for their, their own health bills. So now it's in their vested interest to get people healthy because if they can get them healthy and drive down the costs, then they get to keep that money and the company becomes more profitable. And it's usually the second biggest cost after salaries is health benefits and other benefits. So um, corporations are actually on the cutting edge of trying to come up with innovations self-funded that, that actually drive costs down. And insurance companies, this is my personal belief, insurance companies actually, even though they might say they want to get you better and, and lower costs, uh, it's exactly opposite how it's structured from what's called medical loss ratios. So medical loss ratios are for every dollar you pay for your premiums, uh, here in Massachusetts we have the most strict medical loss ratios which is 90-10. So 90 cents of that dollar has to go towards actually paying doctor bills and drug bills and hospital bills. And 10% is admin and profit. So Blue Cross of all that money we send them every year and Harvard Pilgrim and Tufts, they only make maybe 3-4% in profit. But 3-4% profit of $2 billion is a lot of money. So um, if you're the CEO of one of these large health insurance companies and we come to you and say, hey, which I've done, and say, hey, Harvard Pilgrim, we did this program with your claims data and said, um, we saved this company that's your client $5,900 difference in one year and you track the claims, how would you like to implement that program? Um, and they say, well, that sounds interesting, but um, we're too busy or, you know, it's nice, we'll brush it under the rug. So um, even though they tracked it. So um, if I come to you as the CEO, and now I'm bashing them a little bit, I might regret this, <laughs> um, but because I'm being recorded. <laughs> Um, but if I come to you and you're the CEO of one of these large insurance companies and you're making 3% profit on whatever comes through the door, if I say, hey, you can implement these integrative protocols, get people so much healthier, but then you'd have to actually refund them the money because the, you're, you wouldn't have that much to spend on doctor bills. So instead of bringing in $2 billion, maybe you only bring in a billion. And so then your 3% gets cut in half. So now your 3% smaller and now how much you're bringing in for the shareholders and how much you're bringing in for your profits goes down as well. So there's actually a reverse incentive how it's structured right now for the insurance companies to save money. So uh, it's a, an unfortunate situation. However, the government with Medicare and Medicaid, they're basically stuck with people. So they, they, I believe they want to lower costs. Um, so, so anyway, a little tangent. Um, so what's the ultimate scenario? If you had a magic wand and you could create the perfect picture of your health, what would it look like? How much would you weigh? How, how, uh, how much energy would you have? What would your relationships be like? What would your work be like? What would your recreation be like? Would you be able to do more things, have more fun? Um, and really, our goal is to try to help you reach your goals. So it's, it's about getting the most effective care, and that's what an integrative approach is. It's about helping you achieve your ideal weight and, and healing your metabolism, of which 52% of the people in this country have an issue with. And two-thirds of the population have an issue with weight. So um, really what our program does is it helps you prioritize a customized plan for you so that it's not a, a cookie cutter approach. It's what's gonna work for you? How do you wanna implement it? Uh, are, you, are you good in the kitchen? Are you not good in the kitchen? Do you like cooking? Do you hate cooking? Um, are you active now? No, yes. Uh, what are you doing for fun? Um, and how do we build a, a little Lego castle out of, out of those pieces that works for you and you're in charge? And it's focusing on what you wanna achieve. So um, if you can think back in your life where you might have been struggling like you are now with weight loss and you can think about you maybe you got supported from somebody and that really 
was the thing that made the, made the transition for you and, and got you the results, um, that's really what this program allows you to do is, is create success with working with, with an integrative coach. Um, so because you've showed up and because you're here today and um, you're taking an, uh, an interest in this natural approach, which I applaud, um, I want to take care of you. So what I am promising is that if you participate and engage in this program, that it will reverse or reduce chronic diseases. Because when you drop your blood sugar, every point you drop your hemoglobin A1C, which is that three-month blood sugar, you reduce cardiovascular risk by 45%. Every time you drop that, you're, you're reducing your diabetes and prediabetes risk, which is reducing inflammation because you're reducing your insulin output and you're reducing chronic pain. And the other thing is that you're also reducing your cholesterol. We've had people come off cholesterol medications when they do this program. Very easy. Um, and you're awakening a renewed sense of energy and vitality in your life. So it's a, it's a new lease on life, and like you saw from some Roz. So we have a couple different approaches uh, for people who want to do this program. Uh, the first one is something that I created because people like fast results. So um, our full program that we did with WPI was a 12-week was a clinical program um, with supplements and all kinds of other um, on-site yoga therapist, working with a naturopathic doctor, uh, nutritional supplements, et cetera. Um, and it was $1,700 for 12 weeks. We've actually since gone from a clinical model to a virtual model, so the price has come way down. And then I dropped it yet again to a four-week program. So you're basically working with a coach one-on-one, -on -one, privately on the phone, with the same person throughout the plan, throughout the four weeks. Um, and you have a, an hour-long session and then 25-minute weekly sessions after that. And then you can also, if you're like, oh, well, I just had this one more quick question. I know I just got off the phone with you two hours ago. <laughs> That's called spot coaching. So you can call them up, shoot them a quick email, um, have another five-minute quick you know, question and answer. Um, and then we have a whole uh, online software platform that has video education with all these different categories. There's probably 45 different videos on how to really implement this and really understand it so that you know how to fish. Um, and it has recipes and menus and exercises and breathing practices and how to release stress on the subconscious level with you know, lying down like the kitty in the picture and doing this process. Um, and then there's the next one is a 12-week clinical program, which is actually working with me in the clinic over at Root and & Branch. Um, and what I do is a, it's a 12-week program where I see you 10 visits over the course of 12 weeks, two hours initial visit where I do a complete Chinese medicine, health history, um, education process, and one and a half hour follow-up, get really clear about what your vision and goals are, um, and then eight acupuncture sessions in addition to that. And that also has all the video education as well. And then the other one is our 16-week VIP program where you're working with a coach over the course of 16 weeks, which is, allows you to really implement this. Some people, um, we say some people like to, to do uh, the, the tortoise or the hare. It's, it's either baby steps. Some people are like, well, I'm not going to do everything all at once. I need to take little baby steps. Or some people are like, I want to dive in. I want to do it all. So that's what the fast track program is for. And this program is really for people who want to sort of do the tortoise approach, where they implement things over time really go, and really go deep. Um, and this is a, 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 that's what that package is about. So, um, so the program, as I mentioned, you'll be in the driver's seat. And you get results very quickly. Um, and it gives you solutions to overcoming some of the most frustrating aspects of weight gain um, and keeping it off. And Bill started with, with this uh, information session and turned his diabetes around, came off insulin, lost 30 pounds uh, in 12 weeks. <laughs> <laughs>